If you're trying to focus while writing code, but being interrupted by notifications, you can try out the new Do Not Disturb mode. This will suppress all information and warning level notifications so that they don't interrupt your workflow. Now to show off Do Not Disturb mode, I'm going to be using the Notification Tester extension, and this lets me go and just manually trigger notifications. So I can go in here and say Notification Tester, show error message, for example, and get an error notification that's showing up. Now to turn on Do Not Disturb mode, I'd go down to the status bar, click on the little bell on the far right side, and then go click on the bell with a slash through it. That is going to toggle Do Not Disturb mode on or off. Once I'm in Do Not Disturb mode, notice how the bell in the status bar now has a slash through it as well. And if I hover over this, it's gonna say Do Not Disturb mode is enabled. So it's telling me that I'm currently in Do Not Disturb mode. Now let's say that a new notification came in. So again, I'm gonna use the notification tester for that. I'm gonna trigger a warning notification. Notice how nothing has popped up here, but the bell in the lower right-hand corner now has a little dot on it. That is indicating that there is a new notification. If I go and click on this, I can go and actually see the notification in here, but again, it did not go and pop up. Now, Do Not Disturb mode is going to suppress all warning and information level messages, so I can go and trigger some warnings here. I'll trigger an information message, get those showing up in the UI down here. However, it will not go and suppress error level notifications. So if I actually trigger an error notification, that is still going to show up. The thinking here is that errors are really important things that you do need to address. If an extension is using error notifications for something that is actually not an error, it's not something that needs to be addressed right away, you should go and file an issue against that extension instead. But all information and warning level notifications will get suppressed by Do Not Disturb mode. To switch out of Do Not Disturb mode, you can just go click on the little bell again, and then click on the bell with a slash through it in that pop-up. That's gonna turn you off of Do Not Disturb mode, so you have the normal little notification bell down there in the status bar. And now all of the normal warning, information messages, all of these are gonna start showing up and having pop-ups again. So that's how you can easily to toggle Do Not Disturb mode on and off. So that's a look at VS Code's Do Not Disturb mode for notifications.